in regards to hoopers from the Seattle area, they seem to just make it out of some of the toughest times, which often shows, especially when it comes to their tenacity. But this was a player who has arguably had one of the hardest journeys to get to the NBA in recent memory. But when it seemed as though everything that he had worked for had been taken away from him, he's always leaned strong on his faith, which has allowed him to accomplish his lifelong dream. This is the Marjan Bochamp story. Marjan Bochamp was born on October 12, 2000 in Yakima, Washington. But growing up, he was a kid who showed a lot of talent. He just seemed a couple steps ahead of everyone else that he played against. And just like a lot of kids, his dream was to make it to the NBA. But at times, that dream seemed it way too far-fetched. On the simple fact that with him being in a small town city, he just wasn't able to get the same exposure that kids were getting from bigger cities like Seattle and Portland. But during one of his games, his talent really caught the attention of NBA legend Brandon Roy, who at the time had recently got the job as the head coach at Nathan Hale High School in Seattle, Washington. Brandon really saw something in Marjan and knew he would be the perfect fit alongside five-star recruit Michael Porter Jr. But there was just one problem. From Yakima to Seattle was nearly two and a half hours away from each other. But Marjan and his dad knew that this could possibly be the right outlet to get his son some more exposure, which led Marjan and his father to pack up their bags and move to Seattle, Washington just after the eighth grade. And as a freshman, he went on to become a state champion as his team was able to go 29-0. But around this time, Bochamp and his dad were not stable. His dad was working a job, but wasn't getting a lot of hours and had to move around a lot. It got so tough to where they had to sleep in the car for a couple days. But as a sophomore, he transferred to Garfield High School in Seattle, Washington, as Brandon Roy took the head coaching job there. And for that season, Garfield went 28-2, and, and Marjan went on to win back-to-back -back titles. But he really wanted to flourish in his own spotlight and really wanted to show how great he was individually. So for his junior year, he decided to transfer into Rainier Beach High School. The same school that Jamal Crawford, DeJounte Murray, and Kevin Porter Jr. attended. And this is where he completely went off. Being able to average 26 points, 11 rebounds, and 5 assists. Everything just seemed to come so easy to him. While being able to win the Metro Player of the Year, he was named to the USA Today and All-USA Washington second team. And for his senior season, he decided to transfer again, but this time to a whole nother state. He attended Dream City Christian School in Phoenix, Arizona. His reason for transferring was to get his name out there more. And although the school was in Arizona, they played most of their home games in Kentucky as the program was part of the grind session circuit, which consisted of a lot of D1 prospects. Marjan's hard work would even continue to pay off as he was able to crack the ESPN Top 100, being ranked the 47th best prospect in the nation while being a four-star recruit. Now he did have offers from schools all across the country, but he chose the unique route and didn't play for any of them. Instead, train in San Francisco with former NBA trainer Frank Matrisano in his Chameleon BX program which was formulated to get players in the NBA. Bochamp was putting in work every step of the way, doing everything he could to prepare for the 2021 NBA draft. But an outbreak of COVID-19 really hit hard, which did force Chameleon BX to shut down. So with no other options, Bochamp was forced to move back to Seattle with his mother to avoid homelessness. And just like that, he wasn't on anybody's NBA radars. He even caught COVID-19. 
Marjan explained saying this was the low point of my life and from there Bochamp and his dad looked into colleges and so he decided to stay home and attend Yakima Valley Community College in March of 2021 and that setback along with a whole new change of scenery really in a way refreshed everything he was able to just play his game putting up averages of 31 points 11 rebounds and five assists he even put up 50 points during one of his performances it was like everything was starting to come back together the attention was coming back around and he had a whole different type of aura about him yakima valley's assistant coach even recalled a houston rocket scout at one of his games so after his season there he decided to join the G League Ignite, which is a developmental program for NBA prospects. He averaged 15 points, seven rebounds, and two assists per game while shooting 57% from the field. He was a player who showed his versatility and was everywhere all across the court. But most importantly, he showed a sense of urgency to really lock in on the defensive side of the ball. And by the end of his one year stint with the G League Ignite, he was already projected first round and that led him to enter his name in the 2022 NBA draft and he would go 24th overall to the Milwaukee Bucks. Now he definitely impressed during the 2022 NBA Summer League because in his very first game versus the Brooklyn Nets, he posted 16 points three rebounds along with three threes. He just brought the energy and was very crafty around the basket. He was able to average 13 points per game in the summer league and was able to shoot 43% from the field and 46% from deep. But defensively, he really used his 6'6 frame along with his 7 foot wingspan to the best of his ability. Bochamp really displayed that he could guard a handful of different positions, but he hasn't stopped there. He's already been involved and connected with the community in Milwaukee. With Bochamp not having a lot as a kid and with him being of Native American descent, there was hardly anybody to look up to that looked like him in the NBA, which is exactly why he wanted to show his support while connect with the Native children about the importance of their heritage and the importance of respect, confidence, discipline, and humility. Marjan Bochamp is someone who has took one of the most unorthodox routes to get to the NBA. But even in the midst of his journey and the plethora of setbacks he's had to go through, including having to deal with homelessness, he just never took his eyes off his ultimate dream, which has undoubtedly resulted in him getting drafted to the league and having the luxury in playing and learning from one of the greatest leaders in the game. I kept getting better and better and I never gave up, you know, like coach said. and. Uh... This, I, I trusted God with my plans, and uh, I got close with God, and I think he, he like, led me through all the uh, adversity I had to go through, and I just, I, I just thank him, you know? And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Marjombo Champ story.